in school, at school, in the hospital, at the hospital. Let's talk about prepositions today. Hi, this is Anne from Just Random English, and today we're going to talk about the commonly confusing prepositions in, on, and at. English learners are usually confused whether they're going to use in, on, or at. I totally understand where you're coming from because I myself was used to be confused whether I would use in, on, or was it at? Because these words, even though they only have two letters and they're very short, they're usually confusing. And most of the time, for example, we're choosing between in and at. Both of them work, but they have slightly different meaning. And we don't want to be misunderstood when we are speaking. Our goal here is to be accurate. In By the way, in, on, and at will be discussed in this lesson as prepositions of place. If you're looking for prepositions of time, I already have that on my channel. The link is there in the description or maybe I'll insert that here or here. If you've watched that lesson, you probably remember that I discussed in first and we're going to do the same here in this lesson. In is generally for enclosed spaces. I remember when I was in elementary, my teacher told me that in is the shortened word for inside. So if I am telling that something is inside another thing, I have to use in, for example, in a basket, in a wallet, in my pocket. I saw my notebook in the drawer. Again, I saw my notebook in the drawer. I don't have any money in my pocket. Again, I don't have any money in my pocket. It scares her to be in an elevator. Again, it scares her to be in an elevator. An elevator is an enclosed space, so we have to use in there. It goes the same with some vehicles. For example, when we're saying car, taxi, we have to use in. I left my wallet in the taxi. Again, I left my wallet in the taxi. I don't enjoy being in a boat. Well, you might be thinking that boat is not an enclosed space. It's open, right? But for this one, we still have to use in. If you're talking about large areas, for example, countries, you say in, I live in the Philippines. You also use in when you're saying world, for example, she's the prettiest woman in the world. If you're talking about cities, towns, you also use in, for example, he works in Bulacan. Next, let's talk about on. So on is generally for surfaces, flat surfaces. That's why you often hear on the table that phrase because that is the perfect example for this one. The top of the table is a flat surface, so that is the best example for on. Another flat surface is like this, wall. <laughs> so we say on the wall. I was shocked when I saw the writings on the wall. Again, I was shocked when I saw the writings on the wall. Floor is another flat surface, so we can say my knees spilled her milk on the floor. Again, my niece spilled her milk on the floor. When you're talking about floor, as in the floor in the building, the different floors, you also use on. For example, their house is on the 22nd floor. Let's talk about vehicles. For bus and train, we use on. For example, board on the train at 8 o'clock. Again, board on the train at 8 o'clock. When you're telling directions, you use on when you say on the right or on the left. For example, the bookstore is on the right. When you say the bookstore is on the right, that means the bookstore is on the right side of the road. By the way, we're going to discuss more phrases after I discussed at. So we're going to talk about in school, at school, in the hospital, at the hospital, and more. We use at for specific points or specific places. For example, when you're telling someone your address, Someone asks where your house is. Let's say someone is going to your house for a party or something. Or someone is going to deliver a thing that you ordered and you have to say your address. So you have to say your complete address, right? The house number, the street number, or the name of the street, the town, the city. Then you have to use at. In the Philippines, in different subdivisions or villages, 
they have the house number. For example, my house is at lot 29, block 4, phase 5, random subdivision, Merilao Bulacan. I did use at, right? Because that is already an exact address. That is already, you're giving someone a specific point. Let's meet tomorrow at the bus stop. Again, let's meet tomorrow at the bus stop. So bus stop, again, is another specific point. So you're probably imagining that N is used for large areas or big places, next is on, and for the smaller places or the smallest places, specific points, you use at. For corners, you use at, for example, there's a flower shop at the corner of Purple Street. Again, there's a flower shop at the corner of Purple Street. But if you know the song, The Man Who Can't Be Moved, there's a line there that says, on the corner of the street. Yes, we can use on the corner. We can also use in the corner. It depends on the type of the corner. So all the towels are at the bottom of the drawer. Again, all the towels are at the bottom of the drawer. When we are saying bottom, we have to use at, and then we insert the. That is a fixed phrase you say at the bottom of something. House and home are usually counted or seen as synonymous words, meaning they have similar meaning. Both of them mean a place where we live, right? But we don't use the same preposition for both of them. When it's home, you use at. So it's, is she at home? Or is your mom at home? When it's house, we say in. Is your mom in the house? How can you stay in your house all day? Again, how can you stay in your house all day? When it's home, we say how can you stay at home all day? Now let's get into the more exciting part. Let's talk about confusing usage of in, on, and at. What do we use when we have this phrase? Is it on the menu, at the menu, in the menu? It's on the menu. So it's let's see what's on the menu. Again, let's see what's on the menu. The next one, is it in the picture, on the picture, at the picture? For this one, we can both say in the picture and on the picture, but again, they have different meanings. When we say in the picture, we mean to say everything that is inside or that is captured by the picture. For example, there are little girls smiling in the picture. Again, there are little girls smiling in the picture. When it's on, on the picture, we mean to say the physical photograph or the physical picture and something is on the surface of it. For example, why did you put the glass on the picture? Again, why did you put the glass on the picture? Someone might have accidentally put the glass on top of the photo paper. That is the same when we're talking about paintings. The painting has stain on it. The painting has stain on it. That means Oh, that's very bad. That's terrible because the painting has a stain on its surface. It's not included in the painting. What about for this one? Is it on the internet, in the internet, at the internet? The answer is on the internet. I saw this on the internet. Again, I saw this on the internet. Next, what about this one? Do you watch videos on YouTube? in YouTube or at YouTube? It's on YouTube. I watch Miss Anne's videos on YouTube. Again, I watch Miss Anne's videos on YouTube. So you can also say, oh, I saw her on YouTube. I saw that guy on the television. You might have come into conclusion already that when we're talking about content, content that is what you watch, that is what you read. So when you're talking about content, you use on, on the television, on YouTube, on the internet. I'm going to mention the song again, which I've mentioned earlier, The Man Who Can't Be Moved. There's a line there that says, maybe you won't mean to, but you'll see me on the news. Again, maybe you won't mean to, but you'll see me on the news. What about this? Do we say at school, in school, on school? Well, in school and at school are both correct, but when we say that someone is in school, that means someone is still a student and still studying. For example, oh, my daughter is not yet working. She's still in school. My daughter is not yet working. She's still in school. She's still a student. She still goes to school. 
But when we say that someone is at school, someone is physically present inside the premises of the school. So we say, my daughter is still at school. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon and this time she's still at school. For the last one, is it in the hospital, at the hospital? For this one, you really have to be careful because when you say that someone is in the hospital, that means someone is a patient there. Someone is getting treated there. For example, John is in the hospital. That means John is getting a treatment or he is ill. He's receiving treatment in the hospital. That's why he is there as a patient. Whereas when you say that someone is at the hospital, that means someone is at the hospital because well, that someone might be visiting someone who is in that hospital, who is there as a patient. And that is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for learning English today with me. If you have suggestions, you want to learn topics or lessons which I haven't posted yet, leave them in the comments. I'll definitely read them and consider them in making videos in the future. Share this with other learners. I'd really appreciate that. Like this video if you found this informative, helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Don't be shy. Click the notification bell as well so you'll get notified every time that I post videos. Thank you for coming here and for watching my video. Dream and make your dream happen. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!